going to do a brief little uh, review on UF RAW uh, for editing images in RAW. Um, this is what it comes up when you open the program. So it asks to find your file. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this one and we'll take a look at what UF RAW can do. So uh, when you've got your picture, uh, you can tell the exposure is already looking pretty crazy. So you can go ahead and you can uh, do auto adjust exposure and see what uh, UF RAW does for you. Um, and it's it's a bit low, so I'm going to bring it up just a tad. Alright, uh, UF RAW allows you to adjust the temperature um, and the white balance. You can do um, auto white balance and uh, so it's got some pretty good options for that. Also, if you want to take away some of the noise, you can do that in UF RAW. It, it actually does a fairly good job. You can get kind of a nice glow effect, but you can definitely overdo it. Uh, but we'll go to the next little area. If you want to go into grayscale, it's got different options for that. Uh, you can go into the channel mixer if you want to mix by channel. Um, we'll keep it though uh, in color mode. Um, you can also do manual curves, which is kind of nice if you know how to edit curves pretty well. I don't, but uh, I'm sure it'd be awesome if I did. <laughs> uh, there's other options for uh, color that I won't really go into, but you can play around with those. Contrast is one you'll probably be using a bit. Uh, you can get some interesting uh, effects with that, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can up the saturation if you want a bit more color. Um, and then cropping in UF RAW, it's not really, uh, I would say, not the best. But you can crop and rotate using this screen. So, uh, And then if you want to finally export or save as a JPEG or a PNG or TIFF, you can do that. So that's basically UF RAW. From what I can tell, there's uh, not a good or easy way or any way to do batch editing for RAW that I've been able to tell and um, even though it does have quite a bit of options and features the user interface really isn't my favorite for RAW editors in Linux so I think it's pretty good if you maybe want to edit one or two pictures but if you want to do a bunch you may want to look at something else